In this video, we're going to do a double angle observation problem. But first, let's have a look at some tips that can be used in more complicated problems. You should always draw a large clear diagram. Always check that the diagram fits the question properly. And thirdly, make a strategy for solving the problem. You should be able to devise a method that will see you through to the problem's completion even before the maths work started. In this question, a woman who is standing at position A finds the angle of elevation to the top of a 260 metre high tower is 35 degrees. Upon walking to position B, which is closer to the tower, she finds that the angle has become 52 degrees. We need to find that the distance that the woman walked in between making her observations. Start by drawing a diagram which should look something like this. Our job is to find the distance from A to B. And the strategy is going to go something like this. First of all, we notice that the distance AB that's required isn't even in a right angled triangle. Now, the trick we've been doing so far deals with right angled triangles. So, what we're going to have to do is look at other triangles in order to try and find out distance AB. We're going to start by looking at the big triangle ACD. We've got enough information about that triangle that we could work out the distance from A to C. We'll call it X. Then we're going to look at the other triangle, the small triangle, BCD. There's enough information there that we could work out the distance from B to C. We'll call it Y. We can then work out the distance that we require, the distance AB, by taking away one answer from the other. So let's start on the big triangle, ACD. Redraw it out, it makes it easier. And make a trig statement in order to work out distance X. This question involves opposite and adjacent sides is going to be a tan question. We need to change this round. First of all, multiply both sides by x, then divide both sides by the tan of 35, and we'll be able to work out that the distance x is 371.32 metres. Then we look at the small triangle. Once again, it involves opposite and adjacent sides. It's a tan question. The tan of 52 equals 260 over y, Multiply both sides by y, divide both sides by the tan of 52 to find that y is equal to 203.13 metres. To work out the distance from A to B, all we need to do is take away one answer from the other. The distance is 168.18 metres.